Hello everyone, this is Nolan Clemens with Clemens IO. Uh, be sure to, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos on marketing tools. Today we're going to be going over Instagram bio link tools. And uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with this concept, uh, on Instagram in the post descriptions, the links are not clickable. So a common marketing tactic is to say link in bio. However, in an Instagram profile uh, bio URL, you can only have one of those. So there's several services that allow you to um, redirect uh, those that click to, uh, you know, other social media profiles, other websites, uh, whatever it is you want to send traffic to uh, when you're using that traffic. Now, uh, one key point is that IGTV links are clickable. So if you're uploading videos to IGTV on Instagram, you can have links in there and users can click those. You don't need to send them to the bio. So uh, let's get started uh, with some of these tools. So first one is myurls.co and it seems to be a free tool, uh, which is probably good if you're getting started. Uh, one thing to note is that you would have, my your bio link would be in this case, my URL sales slash your handle. And so I don't know uh, really if any of these tools allow you to use your own custom domain. But if you watched the other video uh, for general URL shorteners, you can simply have get a branded URL that redirects to this link or whatever service you end up using. But it allows you to link to it allows you to personalize your profile and have links to your other uh, social media profiles, get some analytics and uh, other things. So seems pretty straightforward. Next up is Hypelink. So again, they have a freemium version and they have paid tools if you want more features, uh, but it's a sim similar functionality. Now um, they include uh, the ability to link to Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud. So this would be good for musicians uh, that particularly want that. Now, I think you can have uh, maybe have some special content uh, embedded within that page. I'll have to check, and it includes uh, integration with Mailchimp uh, if you want it. So that way you can collect emails. Now, next up is Linktree. Now, this is the market leader uh, in for for these uh, Instagram link shorteners. Uh, so it's going to have a similar functionality uh, to all the other ones and a lot of people um, use it. Uh, so we're not going to go too much in depth because they already have um, like a lot of celebrities and sports teams using it already. Now, next up is contact and buyer. And what makes this, you know, they're focusing on these micro landing pages and if you know inbound marketing, you know that a landing page is designed to get people to convert to something. Now, in this case, it may re just be redirecting them to another social network. But they had various features um, that uh, on their paid plans, uh, like the ability to sell your, your product uh, integ and integrate uh, with other services, like playing a video if you're a content creator. Uh, you can embed a video on there and have, have some integrations with uh, other services that you want to do besides redirecting them to another social media profile. So they, so that's, that's pretty useful as something, something worth looking into at least. Uh, and they, their plan, even their paid plan seems pretty reasonable. So seven times 12, that's 60 bucks a year. It's not that bad. IGBio.co. So again, similar functionality, and they're again they're focused on bio link pages. They're essentially they're treating this as its own page, uh, where you can have have different destinations uh, for where you want them to go. And they're even their paid plans even cheaper, so two dollars a month, so twenty bucks a year. Or even fifty bucks a year for their other plans, so that that seems pretty reasonable to me. And then, last but not least, we have many dot links. It allows you to add as many links 
to your profile as you want. Um, I can't tell if it's free or paid. It might just be free. Uh, so that's another tool. So uh, if you have, if you know of any other tools, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Uh, again, if you enjoyed this content, give it a big thumbs up to feed the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.